Yeah, I, I really want us to talk for a moment about the acids that we use. I think the consumer is getting a little bit more savvy and educated, but sometimes they really don't understand why they're putting on their skin what they're doing, or they're looking at an ingredient label and going, well, this much, ha this one has this much percent, and that one has, so is more better. And so help us break down the acids that we use, why we choose them, and why we choose the, the formulation and percentages that we do at sure. Circadia. Well, I know you like to go off about Circadia. I do. I like to go off about Circadia. <laughs> I love to go off about acids. Um, so obviously we use many. I mean, mandelic acid, lactic acid, um, salicylic acid, um, pyruvic, succinic acid, the list goes on and on. Um, when we're talking about alpha, beta hydroxy acid, functional acids, in particular for exfoliation, there's a reason why we use the ones that we do. Of course, lactic acid, I would say, probably has enjoyed the limelight for quite some time. Um, I think one of the reasons that is, is that um, I'd say probably in the last 10 years, maybe a little bit more, there's been a bit of a movement, not, I would say, completely away from glycolic acid, but at least an alternative to glycolic. I think there was a lot of research that was done um, in the mid 2000s about the excess use of glycolic acid and how that can have a pretty harmful effect if it's used in very high concentrations on the skin, if the frequency is too regular, right? So if we're using it in too many products with too much application, uh, too much high concentration peels, it can actually, because of the size of the molecule, start to break down um, those proteins in the multiple layers of the skin. And we talked about that, creates a compaction and a transparency. Um, so lactic acid is a fantastic alternative. It's a bigger molecular structure, but even more importantly, it has multiple functions within the skin. It is recognized as a biological acid. So uh, if there is an excess, oftentimes it can be uh, metabolized and broken down to pyruvic acid, which means it's shuttled into the mitochondria and used for energy production. It's also recognized as something that works as a tyrosinase inhibitor. So you see it a lot in brightening products. We use it for that purpose as well, not just for home care, but also for some of our peels and it stimulates natural moisturizing factors in the skin, which are glycosaminoglycans. So it's not just an exfoliating acid, it also is very helpful for a number of other functions that we need in professional skincare. So again, that kind of gravitation towards lactic acid has been pretty popular. You start introducing things like mandelic acid, which is now the darling of the industry. You know, we've really seen a, a, a huge increase in the use of mandelic acid in not just home care, but also your professional treatment products and um, that was really spearheaded by uh, a number of researchers in the industry. Dr. Fulton, who was actually a very good friend of my grandfather's, I got to know him very, very well, uh, he and his family over the years, but um, he helped to introduce the use of that in the marketplace uh, a number of years ago, and it's really enjoyed uh, a lot of success. Again, multifunctional acid helps with treating hyperpigmentation, very strong antimicrobial effect and antifungal, so it's good for multiple different types of acne. So it just really is something that we, we've leaned into using in the industry. Things like um, polyhydroxy acids, um, lactobionic acid, because again, their molecular structure, really good for exfoliation on sensitive skin types. Salicylic acid has been around for a very long time, so it's one of those standard, you can always go to it. We know it works for treating acneic skin types, but also you can combine it for treatment of aging skin, oftentimes pigmentation. So there's just so many different acids that are available. And of course, you know, we, we've talked a lot about pyruvic and succinic and just how functional those are together within the switch. So uh, again, you get me going off about acids, I could talk all day.